What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at you. I got another episode of Tech Tuesdays with Ubu. This is episode five, I believe. And again, I know I say this, I think, every episode, but I apologize for not having done one uh, last Tuesday or maybe even the Tuesday before that. <clears throat> it turns out this uh, it's just not going to be a weekly series, I guess. Um, I'll get them out on Tuesdays, you know, as frequently as I can and as people have uh, comments and suggestions for other Tech Tuesdays with Ubu. But, um, you know, so hopefully you stay subscribed if you're interested in the Tech Tuesdays for Ubu because they, they will still be coming to my channel. It's just um, I, I'm not going to guarantee that they are uh, every week just because they haven't been. And, again, I apologize for that. But this uh, weekly or this, this uh, episode of Tech Tuesdays with Ubu is in regards to using um, setting up and using the two-step verification along with a, uh, a smartphone application called Google Authenticator. Um, it makes the two-step verification a lot less painful and um, you know it's a really neat uh, I'm using it on an iOS device it's probably available for Android but I don't want to say for sure so you'll have to look into that but um, so let's get right into it with the two-step verification. Um, the two-step verification is really, really critical in you know your security of your Gmail account, just especially if it's tied to your YouTube channel. You know you don't want somebody getting access to your Gmail account and then your YouTube they could delete your videos and really mess up your channel. So, you know, using the two-step, a lot of people complain about the hassle, you know, of the two-step that every time you log in your email. It's going to ask you for a verification code, and it's such a hassle because you got to receive a text on your phone, or you got to use these backup codes that you can create, or you know you get a phone call. So, but I'm going to show you how to use the two-step verification with the Google Authenticator application. So let's uh, first log into your <clears throat> email account, and I just created one called Testing Two Step. Hopefully, everything works here. So we'll sign in, yep. And um, so right away, you go over to, on the right side, you go to, uh, you click on account, and then you go to security, and two-step verifications right there. You hit um, settings, and you start the setup. <clears throat> so it, it um, you know, it you give it a, a mobile phone number, that it will send the codes to, um, or a you know, or a home phone number, and um, so you know, I'm going to suggest obviously standard phone rates are going to apply. So I'm going to enter in my number. Obviously, it's grayed out, so you can't see. And you can either choose to have them as text messages or voice calls. Now, this is just the initial setup. Remember, I'm going to show you how to do this using the Google Authenticator app so that you don't even have to waste your time with receiving texts and whatnot. So right now I'm just gonna hit send code and um, you know on your phone you should obviously receive a either a call or a text whichever one you chose and then you're gonna enter in that number it's usually a six digit code and you just hit verify and you can choose to trust this computer so that um, you know, if you lose your phone, um, you know you might be able to access your account from a trusted computer without needing a code. So they recommend that you make, um, you know, you make one computer a trusted computer, um, but only if you are the only person that has access to that computer. You should trust, you know, you should allow the trust of the computer. Um, so just hit next and confirm. And then, so obviously this is a key step here because it says, you know, uh, you want to create, what if you lost your phone, you know, and you wouldn't be able to uh, receive, obviously, a text or a phone call if you lost your phone. So, you know, in an emergency, you can, you can have uh, Google send you a verification code to another number. You know, it can be another cell phone number or a landline. Um, and it won't be used unless you know unless the unless you ask them to. So you can add that phone number here, or here's this cool one here, um, mobile application. Switch to an app to get the codes even when you don't have cell coverage. So this is the Google Authenticator app, I believe. 
So obviously it does say here it's available for Android, iPhone, and Blackberry. Um, you know, and also there's the backup codes. You can print out backup codes. So you just hit show backup codes, you know, and it brings up this additional little list and you can print this out and carry it in your wallet. Um, you know, and the backup codes work once and they're they're saved. So this is obviously uh, a six digit or actually it's a eight digit but there is two spaces and the spaces are required so that's just something to take note of um, so you want to print those backup codes just in case <clears throat> but um, so here I have the mobile app called Google Authenticator on the iPhone and so you notice here it brought up this neat little um, barcode so you know you open up your Google Authenticator app on your phone on your phone so here's what uh, the Google Authenticator app looks like and I already have these previous uh, Gmail accounts set up with Google Authenticator, so they're grayed out so you can't see that. But there's a little plus symbol, see? So I'm just gonna hit the, the plus symbol on the app, and then it's gonna ask me to scan the barcode. So you can see this is what the screen looks like for adding, um, you know, adding a Gmail account to your Google Authenticator app on your uh, smartphone. And uh, so you just hit scan barcode on your phone and you need to just obviously put your put the, the little barcode over the barcode on the screen and it's going to authenticate itself and then you're going to see so notice on my screen here there is a number 056754 but notice the little counter up here so the Google Authenticator uh, verification codes change you know I don't know what this is maybe it's 30 seconds they change every 30 seconds so that's why I'm not too worried about you guys seeing my number here for this uh, this testing two step at gmail.com account so I'm gonna go over here and uh, down at the bottom I enter in the code that uh, it's showing me 993-686 verify and save your Google Authenticator app has been successfully configured note the codes generated by any previous instance of the Authenticator app will no longer work so there we go I've just set up um, two-step verification you know it's that easy and um, you know like I said you might want to create uh, another a backup phone which I didn't do you can add another phone number there and um, you know that's that's about it that's how easy it is so now let's uh, check it out in action so if I hit sign out here and um, go to sign in again <clears throat> hopefully oh you know what I'm gonna have to clear the browser cookies otherwise this won't work because um, you know it created this computer as a as a trusted computer so this the uh, browser settings are gonna have that information stored in it so it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't prompt me for the Google Authenticator code let's try it now so if I hit sign in and it's telling me my browser cookies are please turn it on sign in again you gotta enter in the right password so there this is what the screen looks like um, you know so you go to your Google Authenticator app again so here's the Google Authenticator app on the phone well here I'll just back out and show you what the the icon looks like so on my screen I go into the utilities folder you know yours can be wherever it is obviously on your smartphone and then down here in the lower left corner you see Google Authenticator so you click on that and um, there's our code 964421 964421 verify boom boom tough actin to actin I'm in my Gmail so that is Google <clears throat> Google Gmail two-step verification hopefully you guys found this video helpful um, leave me a rating let me know what you thought of the video and in the comments down below you know let me know do you guys uh, use two-step verification already and were you aware about this Google Authenticator application for your smartphone because it is really useful you know you don't have to bother with receiving a text or a phone call you just simply open the Google Authenticator app and boom you get a new code. 
So uh, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in some more Tech Tuesdays with Ubu, or if you're interested in Crisis 3 tips and general commentaries, or Black Ops 2 you know, tips and commentaries. Uh, I got some Black Ops 1 and some Modern Warfare 3, and I also do a Shank 2 Let's Play on the computer. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Ubu out.